Man, I got a lot of rice and beans stored up. I got to thinking. In most stuff hits the fan scenarios, the grid's likely gonna be down. Have you ever tried to cook raw beans? It takes a long time. And cooking beans off grid the traditional way, like over a campfire, is gonna take a very long time and take a lot of fuel. Here's a solution, I think. GSI pressure cooker. Now I've been cooking on a pressure cooker on my stove for a long time. When the economy collapsed and Mike and I decided to go debt free, we ate a lot of beans and rice. Thank God for my pressure cooker. Now the one that I have is designed for stovetop use only. But this one here from GSI is designed for outdoor use and perfect to add to my preps. I think it's very important to practice with my preps and my gear because if I ever have to use it, I'll know what I'm doing. So I have about a cup to a cup and a half of beans here and they have been soaking for about a half a day now. These happen to be red beans. I'll go ahead and dump them in my pressure cooker pot. I've got a half a cup of rice. I'll go ahead and dump that right in there. And I do happen to have a couple bouillon cubes because I do want it to be a little bit uh, salty with some spices in there with the bouillon cube. That's going to be perfect. And I'm going to put in about, uh, let's see, this is a one cup worth. Let's see, about probably a little more than a cup of water. Yeah. And that should do it. going pretty good now. It took about six to eight minutes for the water to boil and it's under pressure right now so it shouldn't be long. All right it's been under pressure now for about eight minutes. It's time to take it off the heat, let it depressurize and see how it tastes. Okay. Well, it looks like it did pretty good. All right, let's see how it did. Well, you know what? I would probably let it stay under pressure a couple more minutes next time. But this is definitely easy. This is really great, a great thing to add to my preps. So I'm going to really enjoy having this if I ever need it. So guys, if you're prepping, you're putting away all kinds of food, gear, supplies, make sure that you get it out and practice with it on a regular basis. Go cook something off grid because it's better to familiarize yourself with it now than it is to try to figure it out when the stuff hits the fan.